hello viewers i am dr r murli professor uh, department of mathematics dr ambedkar institute of technology bengaluru i will be discussing some concepts in analytical solid geometry related to advanced mathematics 2 for diploma students in the last session uh, uh, i have discussed the following we have seen what is a plane what is a plane surface we have said that a plane is a surface uh, in which given any two points the line joining them lies entirely on the surface then we have looked into the general equation of a plane which is ax plus by plus cz plus d equal to 0 where a b c d are constants we have particularly said that the coefficients of x y z in this equation represents the direction ratios of the normal to the plane normal in the sense a perpendicular drawn to the plane surface then we have derived the normal form of the plane which is l x plus m y plus n z equal to p where l m n are the direction cosines of the normal drawn to the plane and capital P is the perpendicular distance from the origin to the plane. Then we have looked at the one point form of the plane which is the plane passing through a single point. Then three point form of a plane, how to find the plane equation if three points are given. Then we have seen the condition for coplanarity of four points. Given four points, what is the condition which will see, see to it that all the four points will lie in a common plane then we have discussed examples in all this then we have discussed some geometrical aspects like perpendicular planes we have mentioned that two planes are perpendicular will mean that their normals are perpendicular then we have seen parallel planes what is the condition for parallel planes then angle between two planes which was defined as the angle between their normals and finally some examples all these topics were covered in the last session. In today's session, we, we, we will be looking into intersection of planes, then uh, we will see the perpendicular distance from a point to a plane and the perpendicular distance from the origin to a given plane, before we go to the next concept which is straight lines. Uh, as I told you, we begin with the plane through the intersection of two given planes. The concept is like this, you have a plane which is represented by A x plus B y plus C z plus D equal to 0. Through this line, there is another plane like this, that plane is given by a dash x plus b dash y plus c dash z plus d dash equal to 0. Now, what we require is the plane through the intersection of this. What is the plane that passes through the line of intersection of this plane? That plane, if you see, will be like this. This is the plane we are trying to attempt to find. What is the plane that passes through the intersection or simply the line of intersection of the two planes? So, for this we first realize that two planes always intersect in a straight line that is what is this line. So, if A x plus B y plus C z plus D equal to 0 and A dash x plus B dash y plus C dash z plus D dash equal to 0 be two planes also represented in the form A x plus B y plus C z plus D equal to 0 equal to a dash x plus b dash y plus c dash z plus d dash with a common 0 written in between. Then the plane passing through the line of intersection or simply through the intersection of these two planes is given by a linear combination of the two in the sense it is a x plus b y plus c z plus d plus k times 
a dash x plus b dash y plus c dash z plus d dash equal to 0. Now, if you expand this equation, you get something like this a x plus b y plus c z plus d plus k a dash x plus k b dash y plus k c dash z plus k into d dash equal to 0. If you rearrange by taking the respective common factors, you get a plus k a dash into x which is the coefficient of x plus b plus k b dash into y plus arrange the z terms c plus k c dash into z plus d plus k c dash equal to 0. As you see this again represents a plane because these are just constants. So, the intersection of two planes is again a plane and notice that the coefficients of x y and z are a plus k a dash b plus k b dash and c plus k into c dash. So, because this represents a plane you can again say that the coefficients of x y z in this plane equation are the direction ratios of the normal to the new plane that is written in the note below. See the drs of the normal to this plane are the coefficients of x y z which are a plus k a dash b plus k b dash and c plus k c dash respectively. Now, we look into some examples in this start with the first one find the equation of the plane passing through the intersection of the planes x minus y plus z equal to 6 this is the first plane equation and 2 x plus 3 y plus z plus 5 equal to 0 and passing through the point 3 minus 1 comma 3. So, observe that there are two plane equations given this and this. So, the first plane equation if you write it in standard form is x minus y plus z minus 6 equal to 0 always remember that when you write the general form of the plane in its final form the RHS should be 0. So, you take the 6 in the RHS to LHS and write it as x minus y plus z minus 6 equal to 0. The second plane equation is 2 x plus 3 y plus z plus 5 equal to 0. So, what is the plane through the intersection of these two planes as illustrated here? This plane is the first plane plus k times the second plane equal to 0. Remember friends that the ordering of the plane is immaterial you can write any plane as the first one and the other as the second one. So, you can even write the second plane first plus k times the first plane. So, the required plane will be x plus y sorry x minus y plus z minus 6 plus k times 2 x plus 3 y plus z plus 5 equal to 0 we will call that equation 1. Now, how do you find k? To find the constant k observe the uh, condition given in the problem the new plane passes through the point 3 comma minus 1 comma 3. So, that means to say that equation 1 which was assumed earlier passes through the point 3 comma minus 1 comma 3. So, substitute x equal to 3 y equal to minus 1 and z equal to 3 in equation 1 that you can see here substitute and simplification gives 1 plus 11 k equal to 0 or kindly finally, k equal to minus 1 by 11 substitute this back in equation 1 put it back. So, the required equation is x minus y plus z minus 6 minus 1 by 11 times 2 x plus 3 y plus z plus 5 equal to 0. We multiply this 11 here and rearrange. So, what you get 11 x minus 11 y plus 11 z minus 11 into 6 66 then minus 2 x minus 3 y minus z minus 5 equal to 0 or finally, the plane equation is obtained as 9 x minus 14 y plus 10 z minus 71 equal to 0. As in the last session, if you are given a point in any problem, the final answer can be verified by substituting the point given in the final answer. So, you can do that just substitute x equal to 3, y equal to minus 1 and z equal to 3 and verify the answer. Now, this problem was concerning one point. Now, there are problems like in the last session also where you look into, look into problems involving parallel and perpendicular planes. So, let us go to the next example. 
find the equation of the plane through the line of intersection of the planes x plus 2 y minus 3 z minus 1 equal to 0 equal to 3 x minus y plus 4 z minus 5. What observation you can make here is that the equation of the plane is written with a common 0 in between. Observe x plus 2 y minus 3 z minus 1 equal to 0, this is one plane and on the other side 3 x minus y plus 4 z minus 5 equal to 0 is the other plane. So, this equation can be split into two planes. Okay. So, and the plane that is required is perpendicular to the plane 3 x minus y minus 3 z plus 4 equal to 0. Uh, in the last session, we have said that if two planes are perpendicular, the corresponding normals are also perpendicular. So, what we do? Find the normal to the first plane, normal to the plane of intersection and the normal to the direction ratios of normal to the second plane and then apply the condition for coplanarity, sorry, for perpendicularity. So, let us look into the solution. The required plane, because it is the intersection of these two planes, which are x plus 2 y minus 3 z minus 1 equal to 0 and 3 x minus y plus 4 z minus 5 equal to 0 should be the first plane plus k times the second plane equal to 0. Now, in the previous case, we do not look into the drs of the of this uh, equation because that is not concerned with any geometrical aspect. You require only the plane passing through a point, but here you are supposed to find the plane perpendicular to another plane. So, any problem in plane that involves parallel or particular uh, per perpendicular planes require you to look into the direction ratios of the normal. So, to solve this problem, we take the drs of the normal to the plane, which are the coefficients of x, y and z and which are in this equation, if you simplify, they see that the x coefficient is 1 plus 3 k, the y coefficient is 2 minus k and the z coefficient is minus 3 plus 4 k. So, the, the direction ratios of the required plane in 1 of the normal to the plane are 1 plus 3 k, 2 minus k and minus 3 plus 4 k. Now, it is given that the plane in 1 is perpendicular to 3 x minus y plus 4 z, my, uh, sorry 3 x minus y minus 3 z plus 4 equal to 0, whose direction ratios of normal are the coefficients of x, y and z in the equation, which you see are 3 minus 1 and minus 3. So, since the two planes are perpendicular, the normals are also perpendicular. So, what should happen? From the perpendicularity condition, which was discussed in the last session, you have a a dash plus b b dash plus c c dash equal to 0, where a b c are the direction ratios of normal of the first plane and a dash b dash c dash are the direction ratios of the normal to the second plane. So, this condition will give you what you see here. So, the product of the sum of the product of 1 plus 3 k 2 minus k minus 3 plus 4 k along with 3 minus 1 3 should be 0. That is 1 plus 3 k into 3 plus 2 minus k into minus 1 plus minus 3 plus 4 k into minus 3 equal to 0, which gives you on simplification the value of k equal to 5. This you substitute back finally in equation 1 above for the required plane. So, finally, you get 16 x minus 3 y plus 17 z minus 26 equal to 0. Now, we go further, look into the next example. The plane 4 x minus y plus 5 z equal to 7 is rotated through a right angle about its line of intersection with the plane 2 x minus 3 y plus 3 z minus 5 equal to 0. Find the equation of the plane in the in its new position. To make it more clear, the problem given is like this. You have the plane which is suppose this is the plane. This plane is 4 x minus y plus 5 z minus 7 equal to 0. 
it has been written with the RHS 7 taken to the LHS and RHS is made 0. Now, this plane is rotated through a right angle along this line of intersection. Okay. So, you this plane you rotate like this at an angle of 90 degrees, it is rotated through a right angle. Observe this about its line of intersection with the plane, there is another plane given, right. So, there is another plane sitting on this along this line of intersection. This plane is given by 2 x minus 3 y plus 3 z minus 5 equal to 0. Now, this plane in question, this plane, the plane which was written earlier, the first plane is rotated through an angle of 90 degrees like this. So, it comes here. So, along this line of intersection, the plane is rotated like this. So, it is taking a sheet like this and bending it like this, right. So, the early earlier position of this plane was this. There is another plane sitting here along this line, which is this. This plane is rotated through an angle of 90 degrees like this. That is what is written here. So, in this problem, you are supposed to find this plane. So, what do you observe in this friends? Observe that whatever you do to this plane, since you are rotating it like this, the new plane still lies on the line of intersection of these two planes, right. This plane is moving like this. So, obviously, it is along the same line of intersection. So, again, the new plane should be the intersection of these two planes. So, that is what you see written here. Since the new plane passes through the line of intersection of the first plane with the plane 2 x minus 3 y plus 3 z minus 5 equal to 0, its equation is immediately given by first plane plus k times the second 4 x minus y plus 5 z minus 7 plus k times 2 x minus 3 y plus 3 z minus 5 equal to 0. Observe that again like in the previous example, the direction ratios of the normal to this plane should be the coefficients of x, y and z in equation 1 which are respectively 4 plus 2 k rearrange the coefficient of x comes to 4 plus 2 k, then the coefficient of y comes to minus 1 on the first side uh, on this side minus 3 k on this side. So, totally minus 1 minus 3 k and the coefficient of z is 5 plus 3 k. Now, these are the direction ratios of the normal to this plane, but what do you observe? The new plane is perpendicular to this, correct? The new plane that is obtained which is rotated is perpendicular to the initial position. That means to say the normal to these planes are obviously perpendicular. So, but this plane is perpendicular to the first plane. By first plane, I mean this which was the original position of the first plane. The whose direction ratios of normal are the coefficients of x, y, z in this equation, which are 4, minus 1 and 5. So, what should happen? Because these two normals are perpendicular, you can apply the condition for perpendicularity. So, again the sum of the product of these ratios should be 0. That is, you should get 4 plus 2 k into 4 plus minus 1 minus 3 k into minus 1 plus 5 plus 3 k into 5 equal to 0, which simplifies to k equal to minus 21 by 13. Substitute this back in equation 1 here, take the LCM like it was illustrated in the previous example and simplify to get the required equation of the plane, which is 5 x plus 25 y plus z plus 7 equal to 0. Now, we will move on to the next example. Now, two planes intersect in a straight line. So, if I have two planes like this equal to 0, I have another plane a dash x plus b dash y plus c dash z plus d dash equal to 0. These two planes always 
intersect along a straight line. So, this is the line. So, if you write them together like this with a common 0, then this represents the equation of a straight line, right. Write them individually, they become planes, but take them together, it represents the line. So, question is what are the direction ratios of this line? Again, the same thing, the direction ratios of the line are the coefficients b c a b b dash c dash a dash and b dash written in this form and the determinant values calculated like this. So, the direction ratios of this line are first ratio is b c dash minus b dash c which is the determinant of this sequence. The second ratio is this determinant which is c a dash minus c dash a and the third is this which is a b dash minus a dash into b. So, the next example concerns that find the equation of the plane containing the line or these two uh, mean one and the same either you say containing the line or you say through the in line of intersection of the planes 7 x plus 8 y plus 4 z plus 6 equal to 0 equal to 5 x plus 6 y plus 6 z plus 4 and parallel to the line 3 x plus 5 y plus 2 z plus 7 equal to 0 equal to 2 x plus 4 y plus 3 z minus 6. So, how do you solve this? Observe that the required plane is containing this line, right. So, since the required plane is containing that line in two plane form, two plane form because there are two planes written here, the required plane should be obviously first plane plus k times the second. So, that you see written in equation 1 here. So, the required plane is 7 x plus 8 y plus 4 z plus 6 plus k times 5 x plus 6 y plus 6 z plus 4. Now, as in the previous two examples, the direction ratios of the normal to this plane should be the coefficients of x y z in equation 1 assumed above, which are 7 plus 5 k. Again, observe that the x coefficient is 7 on this side, 5 k here, then 8 plus 6 k and finally, 4 plus 6 k. Now, it is given that this plane, suppose this is the plane, this plane is parallel to the line, right. This plane is parallel to this line. This line is also given in two plane form, which is 3 x plus 5 y plus 2 z plus 7 equal to 0, it is here, equal to 2 x plus 4 y plus 3 z minus 6. If you see here, if the plane and the line are parallel, the normal drawn to the plane, which is the perpendicular to the plane is obviously perpendicular to this line. Is it okay? The normal drawn to the plane is perpendicular to this line. So, again these two lines are perpendicular and you can apply the condition for perpendicularity. Before that, what are the ratios of this line? As you see in equation 1, these ratios are 7 plus 5 k, 8 plus 6 k and 4 plus 6 k. Now, what are the di direction ratios of the line parallel to this? That is this line. This line equation is given as 3 x plus 5 y plus 2 z plus 7 equal to 0. I will split that into two planes, write them with individual zeros and 2 x plus 4 y plus 3 z minus 6 equal to 0. What are the direction ratios of this line? Up, uh, as I told you just now, start with take these coefficients, start from y coefficient, y then z x and then y again. That will be phi 2, 3 and 5. Likewise, do the same thing here in the second equation. So, y coefficient 4, x is 2, 
then uh, y uh, sorry x is 3 I am sorry then y z x is 2 y is 4. I will repeat again when you write this coefficient start from the y coefficient right uh, a b a x plus b y plus c z plus d. So, it is b c a and b. So, 5 2 3 and 5 for the second equation we repeat the same thing start from y coefficient y z x and y. The first determinant of the first sequence will give you the first ratio which is 15 minus 8 equal to 7 and determinant of the second sequence will give you the second ratio which is 2 2s are 4 minus 9 which is minus 5 and the last one 4 3s are 12 minus 10 which is equal to 2. So, the direction ratios of the line parallel to the plane are 7 minus 5 and 2. So, which you see here. So, there's DRs of the line are 7 minus 5 2, but as I said earlier what is the condition since the line is parallel to the plane the normal drawn to the plane should be obviously perpendicular to the line. So, the sum of the product of the direction ratios of the plane which are here and the line should be equal to 0 that is the condition for perpendicularity. So, you should get 7 plus 5 k into 7 plus 8 plus 6 k into minus 5 plus 4 plus 6 k into 2 equal to 0 which gives you on simplification k equal to minus 1. Substitute this value of k in equation 1 and simplify to get finally the equation of the plane as 2 x plus 2 y minus 2 z plus 2 equal to 0 or removing the common factor 2 throughout you have x plus y minus z plus 1 equal to 0 which is the required equation of the plane. Now, let us move on to the next example. Find the equation of the plane through the line of intersection of the planes x plus y plus z equal to 1 again the constant 1 in the RHS should be taken to LHS. So, it should read as x plus y plus z minus 1 equal to 0 this constant should come to LHS then the second plane is this and parallel to the y axis. My friends what is the meaning of saying parallel to y axis you know the three dimension system these are the x y z axis. So, this is the x y plane this is the y z plane and this is the x z plane. So, I want the plane through the line of intersection of two planes and parallel to the y axis. So, what does it mean the plane this is the y axis the plane is parallel to this right. So, what is the geometrical aspect here if the plane is parallel to y normal to the plane should be obviously the given plane this plane is parallel to the y axis. So, the normal should be perpendicular to the opposite plane right see find the equation of the plane which is parallel to y axis or perpendicular to the x z plane this plane is parallel to y ok the y axis and the plane are parallel if you see it this way this is the x z plane. So, the x z plane is like this this is the x z plane the, the plane that you are considering is like this correct this is the y axis. So, a plane parallel to y axis is, is equal to the plane perpendicular to x z plane. Similarly, if you want a plane parallel to x it will be perpendicular to y z plane and a plane parallel to z axis will be perpendicular to x y plane. So, that is what is written here there are two different concepts here either you say it is parallel to y axis or you say it is perpendicular to the x z plane. How do you calculate this again the same concept the plane passes through the intersection of the two given planes. So, obviously, it should be the first plane plus k times the second and 
the direction ratios of the normal to this plane should be the coefficients of x, y, z in the equation which are 1 plus 2 k for x, 1 plus 3 k for y and 1 minus k for z. Now, this plane is parallel to the y axis and when you have studied direction cosines and ratios, you have studied that the direction ratios of x axis are 1 0 0, for y axis are 0 1 0 and the proportional ratios of the z axis are 0 0 1. So, because this problem concerns the y axis, the ratios are 0 1 and 0. So, since this plane is parallel to y, the normal to the plane whose ratios are 1 plus 2 k, 1 minus 3 k and 1 minus k are perpendicular to the normal to the plane is perpendicular to the y axis. So, what should happen? Again apply the condition for perpendicularity. So, what should happen? This is the sum of the product of the ratios should be 0. So, 1 plus 2 k into 0 plus 1 plus 3 k into 1 plus 1 minus k into 0 equal to 0 which gives you immediately k as minus 1 by 3. Substitute that back in equation 1 for the required plane which is x plus 4 z minus 7 equal to 0. Now, the question is this, do you see anything uh, missing in this equation? Observe that the final answer does not contain y in it, correct? So, any plane that is obtained parallel to y axis will have the y term absent in it. So, that is summarized in the next note. In the previous example, that is example 13, if y axis is replaced by the x axis, the direction ratios will be 1 0 0 and for z axis, the direction ratios can be replaced by 0 0 and 1. Also note that in the final equation of the plane, y term is absent if you are finding the plane equation parallel to y axis. So, similarly for the x axis, the x term will be absent and for the z axis, the z term will be absent in the final equation. Let us move on. The next concept is this. Now, if you have a plane, right, given a plane Ax plus By plus Cz plus D equal to 0, right, what is the perpendicular distance? Suppose this is the origin say, origin O. If you write, write it like this in three dimension, it is something like this. There is a plane here in space from the origin, you draw a line to this, which is perpendicular. I am trying to find this length, which we denote by small p. What is the length of the perpendicular from the origin to the plane? How do you calculate that? We just have to relate this to the normal form of the plane. We recall that the normal form of the plane is L x plus m y plus n z equal to p, where small p as you see here is the perpendicular distance measured from the origin. The question is this, if I give you an equation in this form, is it possible to obtain the perpendicular distance from the origin to such a plane? It is simple because the same equation can be written as A x plus B y plus C z equal to minus D. If you just divide throughout by root of A square plus B square plus C square, divide each term by this, you get A by root A square plus B square plus C square into x plus B by root a square plus b square plus c square into y plus c by root a square plus b square plus c square into z equal to minus d by root of a square plus b square plus c square. Now, these values, how are these values related to LMN? In direction cosines, you have studied that if a, b, c are the ratios, 
the corresponding direction cosines can be obtained by these answers. So, that is what you see here. A by root a square plus b square plus c square, b by root a square plus b square plus c square and c represent the direction cosines element of the normal to the plane. So, just compare this equation with this. So, comparing these two equations because these three are already L, M and N respectively, this equality is immediate. So, you get immediately get P equal to minus D by root of a square plus b square plus c square which gives the perpendicular distance from the origin to the plane. Now, what is uh, different in this result is you can obtain with the perpendicular distance from the origin to the plane if you are given the equation in the general form itself. right? So, it is minus this coefficient divided by square root of a square plus b square plus c square. Notice that if the answer turns out negative you can take the numerical value because the distance cannot be negative. Now, the next thing that comes is the following. Now, given any point in space, can you find the perpendicular distance from the point to this plane? So, that you can see in the next part. Perpendicular distance from the point x1, y1, z1 to the plane. So, there is a plane here, this is a point x1, y1, z1 here I want the distance. Remember that the distance is nothing but the perpendicular drawn. right? You cannot find the distance like this that is not defined. So, it is the perpendicular distance drawn to the plane. So, how do you go about that? Assume A x plus B y plus C z plus D equal to 0 as the equation of the plane. Now, on shifting the origin to the point x1, y1, z1, shift the origin all your x, y, z will change to the new sequence x dash y dash z dash where x dash is given by x minus x 1, y dash is equal to y minus y 1 and z dash is given by z minus z 1. So, this gives x equal to x dash plus x 1, y equal to y dash plus y 1 and z equal to z dash plus z 1. So, this is the these are the values of x, y, z in terms of the new position where you have shifted. So, substitute these values in the plane equation above. So, you get a into in place of x, x dash plus x plus b into y dash plus y 1 plus c into z dash plus d by z 1 plus d equal to 0. Simplifying you get this a x dash plus b y dash plus c z dash plus a x 1 plus b y 1 plus c z 1 plus d equal to 0 which is similar to the earlier one. For A x plus B y plus C z plus D equal to 0, the distance from the origin is P equal to minus D by square root of A square plus B square plus C square. So, if the origin is shifted to x dash y dash z dash, all these three values x y z will become x dash y dash and z dash respectively that you see here. So, it is A x dash plus B y dash plus C dash dash and instead of the constant D in this expression you have this. So, substitute this in this formula. So, in place of D you have what you circled here A x 1 plus B y 1 plus C z 1 plus D whole divided by the coefficients of x dash y dash z dash in the equation which was earlier x y z which is square root of A square plus B square plus C square. But the, the new origin is the old x1, y1, z1 because you have shifted the origin. So, what will happen? Therefore, the perpendicular distance from the point x1, y1, z1 to the plane a x plus b y plus c z plus d equal to 0 is obtained by just replacing the values uh, x dash y dash uh, sorry by, by best rewriting the previous equation in terms of what you have see written here. 
So, this is the perpendicular distance from the point to the plane. So, it is given by a x 1 plus b y 1 plus c z 1 plus d divided by root of a square plus b square plus c square. So, my friends what you must understand is how do you use this equation? This equation requires you only two components. First, a point x 1 y 1 z 1 in space and the plane equation a x plus b y plus c z plus d equal to 0. So, you pick out a b c from this also pick out the value of d from this and the values of x 1 y 1 z 1 and substitute in this formula which should give you the equation of the plane sorry the perpendicular distance from the point to the plane. Let us see one or two examples in this. The first example find the distance between the parallel planes 2 x minus 2 y plus z equal to 3 and 4 x minus 4 y plus 2 z minus 5 equal to 0. Now, do you see anything similar in the two equations? Observe that the two planes are parallel. So, the first equation is 2 x plus minus 2 y plus z plus 3 equal to 0 and the second equation is 4 x minus 4 y plus 2 z minus 5 equal to 0. Now, since the planes are parallel, the direction ratios of the normal to the two planes should be proportional in the sense the first plane has ratios 2 minus 2 1, the second ratios sorry second plane has ratios 4 minus 4 2 which has a common divisor 2, hence you get the same thing by dividing by 2 you get the same ratios 2 minus 2 1. As was explained in the previous in the, la, in the last session, two parallel planes differ only by a constant. This constant will change. The ratios of course, remain the same in both. Either they are the same or they are proportional ratios. The question is how do you find the distance between two, these two parallel planes? To find the distance between the two planes, you just have to recognize a point on this plane and call it as x 1, y 1, z 1. Take this plane as a x plus b y plus c z plus d equal to 0 and apply this formula. Apply the formula minus of a x 1 plus b y 1 plus c z 1 plus d by root of a square plus b square plus c square. So, let us go about that. The first question is how do you find this point? How do you find this point? The distance between the parallel planes is equal to the perpendicular distance from a point on the first plane say x 1 y 1 z 1 to the second plane which you see here. To find the point x 1 y 1 z 1 there are three options. Option 1 put x equal to 0 and y equal to 0. So, the first two coordinates are fixed find z or you put x equal to 0 z equal to 0 and find y option 2. Then option 3 take uh, y equal to 0, z equal to 0 and find x. Now, we are looking at that the first option, but anyway all options should give you the same answer. So, by taking x equal to 0, y equal to 0, we get z equal to minus 3 which gives you the point x equal to 0, y equal to 0, more importantly z equal to minus 3. So, take that as x 1 y 1 z 1. So, you have x 1 y 1 z 1, z 1 fixed which is 0, 0, minus 3. You have a x plus b y plus c z plus d also where a is 4, b is minus 4, c is 2, d is minus 5. All that remains is to substitute. Take all this and substitute in the formula. So, hence the required distance is the perpendicular distance from the point 0, 0, minus 3 to the plane 4 x minus 4 y plus 2 z minus 5 equal to 0 which is equal to minus of a x 1 plus b y 1 plus c z 1 plus d by root of a square plus b square plus c square substitute all the values which you see illustrated here to get the distance as 11 by 6. Then the next example find the equation of the plane passing through the point phi minus phi 9 
So, it is passing through one of the points and perpendicular to the line with direction ratios 6, 3, 2. 6 is to 3 is to 2 will mean they are ABC. Find also the perpendicular distance of 4 minus to 8 from this plane. So, how do you go about this? Observe that the required plane is perpendicular to the line with ratios 6, 3, 2. So, if the plane is perpendicular, perpendicular to the line, obviously the normal drawn to the plane is parallel to the line. The plane is perpendicular to the line with ratios 6, 3, 2. Hence, the normal drawn to this plane is parallel to this line and two parallel lines have the same proportional ratios. Therefore, the same 6, 3 and 2 will apply to that line also. That is what you see here. Hence, the direction ratios of the normal to the plane ABC can be taken as 6, 3 and 2. So, if the required equation is AX plus BY plus CZ plus D equal to 0, you have ABC already. So, the values of ABC are 6, 3 and 2. Hence, the equation of the plane can be written as 6X plus 3Y plus 2Z plus D equal to 0. Now, what other condition is required? What is given in the problem? It is given that the plane in 1 passes through the point 5 comma minus 5 comma 9. So, substitute x equal to 5, y equal to minus 5 and z equal to 9 in equation 1 that you see here, which immediately gives you d equal to minus 33, giving you the equation of the plane as 6x plus 3y plus 2z minus 33 equal to 0. Now, the last part of the problem requires you to calculate the perpendicular distance from the point 4 minus 2 8 to the plane 6 x plus 3 y plus 2 z minus 33 equal to 0. So, like illustrated in the previous example, your x 1, y 1, z 1 will be uh, 4 minus 2 8, a x plus b y plus c z plus d will be this with a equal to 6, b equal to 3 c equal to 2 and d equal to minus 3. So, immediately on applying the same formula, the required perpendicular distance is minus of a x 1 which is 6 into 4 plus b into y 1 which is 3 into minus 2 plus c into z 1 which is 2 into 8 plus d which is minus 33 by root of a square is 6 square plus b square is 3 square plus c square is 2 square which simplifies to minus 1 by 7. In the previous example, the distance turned out to be positive. So, we do not do anything to that, but here observe that the final answer is negative. So, since the answer is negative, we take the numerical value. So, taking the numerical value, since the distance cannot be negative, the perpendicular distance required is 1 by 7. So, friends, in this session, we have seen some examples, we have seen the intersection of two planes, then some geometrical aspects of intersection of two planes, then the perpendicular distance from the origin to a plane and finally, distance between two parallel planes. I end this session with um, Thank you.